Hey guys, Jay here from JNC Gaming, bringing you another Minecraft special. As you can see, there was originally one ship, which was the RMS Empress of Britain 1930s version, which is this one here. And but now we have got a new edition, which is the RMS Empress of Japan, which is the version 1929 version. Now. If you can't see the difference between these guys, yeah, but anyway, but I can. Um, she's much lower, um, all rigging layout different, completely different. Um, smoke, uh, tons more smoke stacks, uh, a lot more storage, as you can see there. The detailing on this thing is, is incredible, guys. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of this for you. Ooh, well, I didn't want that anyway, but anyway. Hey guys, let me get rid of this for you. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and you can see it a bit more clearly. Right, as you can see, guys, the detailing on this is incredible. Um, R&D designs, they know where they are. They have worked their socks off on this boat, uh, or cruise liner, or whatever you want to call her. Um, but I prefer boat, cruise liner, whichever one really. Um, completely different hull layout as well. Um, pretty much some change on the back and um, difference as well. But as you can see with the two holes, one's green, one's red, green, and white, and a hint of blue. Yeah, guys. Um, let's do a side view of the ship for you. Let me go and fly up onto the Britain here. Let's go and jump up. All right. As you can see, guys, the detailing, as I said again, it is incredible on this ship. I think she gives her our Normandy a run for her money in um, detailing. The amount of detailing on this thing is incredible. Uh, total build time on this ship, I think it took us around about four to five days, maybe. But yeah, guys, if you do want to see a tutorial, please do ask for it. But I don't know whether we're doing one in the future. But as you can see, guys, the detailing on this is incredible. There's no tutorial, as I know of, to these ships and layouts and everything. Um, but I've got to say, these smokestacks things, yeah, smokestack funnels things, yeah, whatever you want to call them, smokestacks, yeah, smoke funnels, whichever one. But anyway, uh, I've got to give Dale a big shout out for this. He has worked his socks off on it. I mean, he did it from front to back and as you can see guys there is tons of them the pipe work was also done by Ryan and you know I helped along because that's what we do as in JNC gaming we help with the ships we lay the kills down and we take it from there we lay the decks in as well as help from Dale as well as help from Ryan himself um, but R&D gaming they are absolutely experts at um, shipbuilding as you see by this layout here um, this here is a brilliant design I mean I can't fault it at all as you can see with the um, also the layout of the superstructure as well it is a gorgeous layout I mean I can't say that it's not as you can see completely different from that to, to uh, the uh, Empress of Japan with the two differences as well, one she sits lower, I don't know if you can see that on that frame shot, but yeah, she sits lower, but also a big difference as well, which is this here, the window layout and window pattern there, it's basically the promenade deck, and if I rotate my camera now to this ship, this ship here has got an open promenade deck as you can see there. Um, completely different layout to portal layout as well as you can see the bridge is much bigger as well um, but not bigger as in height bigger as in uh, width I'd say if you can say that yeah yeah bigger in width I'd say um, rigging layout is also different as well funnel design that is also different that was also done by Dale and the outer layer as well which you can see the layers following round was also done by Ryan and yeah guys overall this ship is absolutely gorgeous i mean i can't say that she's not 
Um, let's just take you a glance over towards the back now as well. Um, some weird designs on the gantry cranes as well today, folks, as well. Uh, let's show you the first set of gantry cranes. That's the one gantry crane. Uh, as you can see there, we have put the um, this together as in like, you know, from our heads. Uh, but I have got to give praise to Ryan for like coming up with the designs for these because me personally I would never clue. But anyway, <laughs> that's just me, guys. But yeah, um, I do design ships also, but like my ships are a bit different to this. Uh, we are going to be doing another segment as well. Uh, I am going to be doing a water world as well, where our ships are going to be on water. So our first ship on water, I do not know what it's going to be. If you've got any ideas. Please do leave it in the comments below. I don't know any ship you can think of. We will try and give it, give it a crack for you. Um, as you can see, the flags also as well. Uh, you've got Canadian flags and you've also got Japanese flags because it's obviously a Japanese ship. A um, bit of a change towards the back and rudder design as well. Uh, there you go, guys. It's a nice shot for you. As you can see, as you can see, she's a three-bladed prop. Um, but yeah, I cannot fault the design really on this. I mean, yes, I know the back end's different, but it's our own really. If you think about it, it's our own design. We come up with it, as in like GNC Gaming and Rad Gaming. But the main designers of this rig is Rad Gaming themselves. Um, yeah, guys, all props to um, Rad Gaming as well. The layer to this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I can't say that it's not. Some more Grantry Cranes for you as well. All the storage containers are in as well. Some more detailing, as in like pipe work, stuff like that. All that's there. Um, deck spacage as well. I'll just show you that now. Ooh, let me get up here. Deck spacage. Let's get in here if I can. Thank you. There you go. Deck spacage. I think there's about let me guess do, 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 one, two, about three block spacage in between each deck. I'm not 100%, but please don't quote me on it. But that's the layout of the inside. We are going to be putting interiors in this thing, but you know, as in everyone needs a break. So there you go, guys. Um, let's just go towards the front there for you. Right, let me get out here. So I can maze this thing. Right, let's go. Let me turn around and close that. Right. But as you can see, she's not a bad ship overall. Um, personally, some things, you know, I do like. Some other things, it's just the way the ship is designed because it's Japanese. I haven't got a problem with them, but you know, some of their design features are a bit dodgy. But anyway, as you see with the gantry cranes here, um, yeah, guys, the gantry cranes are gorgeous. I can't say that they're not. Uh, but out, out of all ships, detail wise, I think this is the detailed ship we have got at the moment. We are going to be doing some other ships as well, but that's not going to be for a few weeks, probably after our holiday. Because we always go on holidays together, so it would be like myself, JNC Gaming, and Red Gaming. We also go on holiday. So, yeah, guys. But, yeah, I have been Jay from JNC Gaming. Big shout out to Red Gaming, Dale, and Ryan. Thank you guys so much for your help over these last couple of weeks. But, yeah, guys, peace. I have been Jay from JNC Gaming. Bye, guys.